the movie Black or White, Elliot Anderson's wife dies in a tragic car accident, and he suddenly finds himself with the responsibility of raising their seven-year-old biracial granddaughter, Eloise, all on his own. This is every day? Yeah. Elliot and his wife had originally taken custody of the little girl when their own daughter died giving birth to her. A necessary choice since the baby's drug-addicted father was behind bars and totally unfit to be a parent. But there's a new wrinkle in the mix now. The last person I need around me right now is Grandma Wee Wee. Eloise's fraternal grandmother, Rowena, resurfaces for the first time in years, and she wants to assume some of the child's care, too. That prospect, however, is a bit unnerving for the white and well-to-do Elliot. Rowena's black inner-city background and her substance-abusing son are the very places and people that Elliot has worked hard to shield his granddaughter from. This is a little girl's life we're talking about. Next thing you know, Elliot and Rowena are slinging mud at each other in a contentious custody battle and a black versus white courtroom showdown for a young child's well-being takes center stage. This is a provocative film that digs uncomfortably, intimately, and at times profanely into issues of race and alienation. On the positive side, this is a well-acted piece that motivates us to consider racial dynamics and what it takes to be a good parent. On the negative, there's enough harsh language and enough realistic depiction of both alcohol and drug abuse to warrant some strong caution. I'm giving Black or White a mere two and a half dramatic speeches out of five for family friendliness. For an in-depth review on this film or anything else at your local box office, visit us at PluggedIn.com. Plugging you into the movies, I'm Cheryl Wilhelmy for Focus on the Family's Plugged In Movie Review.